We are recording. What's wrong with that battery thing is, and I don't see any numbers. Look down in there, I don't see any numbers. So, uh, here's a number here. Seven three three zero eight two. That's on the counterbalance, and we went around and we looked on this front wheel assembly. There's a right there. That ain't the number. Somebody thought, well. Yeah, somebody maybe tore a plate off of there, and then we'll come around here. I don't see anything in there. Look, look uh, under the dash, Jenna. John Mad. He's going to be sending this to the headquarters of Clark itself. Okay, so it's not there, but here's where that 2120 is written again. And then we got another number, John. Ooh, look. Right on the counter, bounce on the other side. 5 23 G. So, I could have Jenna bring you the counterbalance up in her Volvo, if you want. And this, this is what you're thinking is the lot number. So, we're going to try and send this off to you, and you could give us some direction, but what I'm kind of thinking might be helpful Go around the other side here. Is this appears to be a fuel filter, and unless you think that's a bad idea, I could pull that cap off the top, and maybe it's got a fuel filter number on it. But I'm always hesitant to do that. My dad would throw away the instructions on the Christmas presents only idiots need instruction books, but as soon as all the springs go flying out here in the gravel, this thing here appears to be a removable, that looks like a, some type of a filter mechanism, but I would say that's probably the engine oil, because it's going into the side of the block. Is that my filter, so, all right, I think we'll call that good, you guys have a nice lunch, maybe you guys at lunch can discuss this little dilemma, or maybe you're going to say, no, it's a Chinese knockoff, that, it was never made by Clark, but I think Oh, those Chinese are sneaky. Talk to you later.